Reporting on August 15, 2023, the U.S. Air Force conducted its inaugural satellite hacking competition, Hack A Sat, which required teams to hack into an actual orbiting satellite. In previous years, the competition utilized simulated satellites on the ground. The target satellite, named Moonlighter, was a small CubeSat developed by the Aerospace Corporation and the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. It was launched into space on June 5, 2023, via a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, alongside a cargo payload for the International Space Station. Five teams participated in the Hack A Sat competition from August 11 to August 14, coinciding with the DEF CON hacking convention in Las Vegas. The winning team, MHAC Caroni, was composed of members from five Italian cyber research teams. They secured the first place prize of $50,000. The Polish cyber research team, Poland Can Into Space, took second place and received $30,000, while the joint British-American team, JMPFS, RCX, claimed third place with a prize of $20,000. The teams were tasked with hacking into the Moonlighter satellite to overcome its restrictions on observing specific ground targets. The goal was to command the satellite to capture images of designated targets and then transmit these images to a ground station. Moonlighter, a shoebox-sized satellite equipped with a camera, was used for this purpose. The competition's objective was to uncover vulnerabilities in satellite systems and enhance their security. By organizing events like Hack A Sat, the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Space Force's Space Systems Command aimed to strengthen industry-government partnerships and build more resilient space systems, ultimately ensuring national and global security. The issue of satellite cybersecurity has gained significant attention, with instances of cyber attacks on satellite systems, including Elon Musk's report of Starlink satellites being targeted after Russia's actions in Ukraine, as well as previous incidents like the suspected hacking of U.S. government satellites by Chinese military groups in 2011. Stay connected, stay safe. Do not forget to subscribe.